How's it going? I am here with another GM mode. We got the Arizona Coyotes coming up in year seven, I believe it is now. Uh, let's hold the team meeting and then we can get started with the season uh, after I show you all the lines and everything. <clears throat> now there are a few things that I really want to show off and that I'm really excited about. Taking a look at our lines, these, these are how the lines will look for this year. Um, we got Nolan Patrick and Travis Galli already on the second line. And I say that first because Travis Galli already actually, uh, oh, earlier he was a second line forward. Um, now it's saying first. But, yeah, he's he's going to stay on that second line because uh, I want Dylan Strom up here. I think he's a slightly better player even though his overall doesn't show it just because of his defense. Um, I don't want Dylan Strom uh, on that line because that line has been notorious for being bad defensively. And John Tavares and uh, Max Domi can carry him a little bit. Uh, but then on the sec like I said, on the second line, we got Merkley in the middle. Finally getting the second line time like he deserves. I think he'll be, uh, be really good this year, especially with two snipers alongside of him. On the third line, we got the new guy, Lawson Kraus. Or Kraus. God, I don't remember how to say his name right. He's still got elite potential. He's 24 years old. Um... Really not too much to say about this guy. He's not that good offensively, which I didn't know when I got him, unfortunately. He's got a pretty good shot, which hopefully he can be a 20-goal scorer for us. Uh, he's got solid defensive stats, which I'm really happy about, especially playing with Sorella. Sorella can put pucks in the back of the net, and he's really good defensively too. Uh, so I'm excited uh, what these two can do for us on the third line. And then we got Tobias Ryder on the right there. Still says he's second line forward, which I'm surprised after all these years on the third line. But he can put pucks in the back of the net too. Also play a little bit of defense. So this third line is going to be dangerous for us. Uh, fourth line, we got Christian Fisher. This guy can score as well. Uh, he's pretty good defensively. Uh, we got Luke Glenn Denning, the defensive animal back there. And then Henrik Samuelson. I feel really bad for that guy. I've said this before. He could have been a, se a really good second line player. But now he's sitting on our fourth line. Oh, it sucks to hear. Uh, defense, we got Puyat and I Oliver Ekman Larson on that first line. Um, they are saying this just because Jake Bean is not quite as good offensively. Um, I, I, I know I'm really thinking, I, I know I am debating with myself right now. I'm going to go ahead and start him off in that first line, I guess. We'll see where that takes us. Uh, Derek Puyat then was Sean Day. And then a Jonas Brodeen with Dennis McElroy. I chose him over the other guys. Because he's got top four potential, and this guy is an absolute monster on defense, except for his stick checking, which could be a little better. But really, he's got the best defensive awareness out of all the guys there, and he's got 89 shot blocking, which I think will be really good for us. Uh, so we'll see what he can do this year. If we're not doing good, uh, maybe I'll change it up. Uh, so yeah, that's how that looks. Um, and goalies, this is what I really am so happy about. Opie, he's an 88 overall now, but Mark Grombauer, 85 overall as our backup goalie. This guy is insane. Just calling him up this year, he was an 82 overall, and since then he has jumped to an 85. It still says he's the backup, so we could have a nice trading piece here in Grombauer, just in case we want to improve anywhere. Now that's how the lines look. Uh, I did play a game in the preseason, just like I always do. Um, won 6-2 against Vancouver. I thought the team was amazing, and we went 6-0 in the preseason as well. Um, I thought the team felt amazing. Uh, I really like how this team is set up, and I got high hopes for this team. So let's go ahead and just simulate the first month, see how we're doing, and I think we'll be an amazing team. Getting the win against Calgary in the first game of the season, and there we go, four-game win streak already. I think this team can do great things. And uh, I expect big things from them. So our first loss is coming after winning five straight against St. Louis. And obviously we're expected to be really well because we're coming off of a Stanley Cup victory. Our third cup win in four years. Uh, so yeah, I, I got high hopes for this team. Only have a few more years left in this GM mode. And I think we have made a dynasty here in the desert. Uh, nine and two after the first month. Obviously uh, we're doing really well. Only... Only a couple losses, and they were to St. Louis, which is a good team, and uh, Pittsburgh, who they're a pretty good team too. So, you know, I, I'm not really worried about this team. Let's go ahead and simulate up to uh, the 1st of December against the Anaheim Ducks. Like I said, uh, coming off of 
Stanley Cup. I, I got high hopes for this team. I, I really think we can come back and uh, win the Stanley Cup again. Uh, let's edit the scouting assignment real quick. Um, let's go ahead and go to the QMJHL for four to six weeks. Uh, I, I think we can really come back and win the Stanley Cup again this year. Um, we did lose a couple key players uh, in Koklichev and uh, uh, Valiev. But I, I really don't think those guys will be missed because of the guys that we added back to our team. Uh, we got Lawson Cruz trying to fill uh, a really good third line role while allowing Merkley to get some time on the second line. Um, and we added Jonas Brodin on defense, who I think is better than Valiev. So, I mean, we're not really missing too many pieces here. Uh, now, we do have a really young guy on our as our sixth defenseman. Um, I really don't think that just having one player there is going to make us a bad team. And clearly, we're not 19-4-1 after two months. I got to take a look at the stats. We are playing fantastic right now. And uh, John Tavares is leading the team. Of course he is. Take, taking a look at the points. He's got 29 points in 24 games. Absolute stud of a player. Oliver Ekman Larson is over a point per game. He's He's been a great player throughout his career. I mean, looking at those stats, he's just fantastic. Max Domi is almost a point per game player. Dylan strom has got 20 points in 24 games. Derek Puglia. Man, I really feel like I should move this guy up to the first line. He's been... Trying his hardest to get back up there. 18 points in 24 games. Nick Markley with the same. Wow. He's really thriving on that uh, that second line. Uh, Jake Bean with 15 points. So, you know, uh, he, he's a pretty good player. Probably will have 40 plus points this season. But uh, uh, I think Derek Puglia is doing a little better. Lawson Cruz is doing pretty well on that third line. So is Tobias Ryder. Wow. Uh, Travis Galliardi, Nolan Patrick slumping just a little bit. Uh, maybe we'll see some improved production out of those guys. Uh, I'd really love it if they could be like 50, 60 point players. But right now it's looking like they might barely hit 40. Um, Samuelson, Tobias Ryder, uh, those guys are doing great. They always do really well. Henrik Samuelson, uh, he's really good on a penalty kill for us. Couldn't ask for more from him. Uh, he's got no shorthanded goals, surprisingly. Uh, but yeah, uh, he's he always does really good on that fourth line for us. Um, and taking a look at the rest of the guys, Dennis McElroy. <laughs> of course, he's not scoring. I mean, looking at, look at his offensive stats; they're terrible. Um, but defensively, he, he's pretty good. So I'm happy with what these guys are doing for us right now. Sorella, I wish he'd be doing a little bit better, but he's got six goals so far. Christian Fisher popping in seven on that fourth line too. Uh, so yeah, that's how the team looks. Uh, let's take a look at where we are in the standings. Uh, we were first in the division tied with the Calgary Flames, actually. Uh, we have one more win, but they have two more overtime losses. And in the West, we are in a three-way tie for first. Uh, we have one game in hand, though, on both of those teams. So we are in a fantastic position right now. Uh, I think we have a really good team here. And I think we can do great things. So uh, let's just keep going. Head up to the 1st of January, and we can uh, we can just keep going with it, I guess. We really don't have too much else to uh, to say. Uh, the game that I did play uh, against Vancouver, just playing that game, I really like doing that, and I might start showing that just because I, it's like an eye test. I've said this before. It's like an eye test, and... This might actually give you guys a chance to see how good this team is. I really think that just showing that might be really good. So uh, look for that in the future. Uh, I might start doing that. So just uh, just wait for that then. Uh, let's go ahead and sc scout Fords in the OHL for six weeks. Uh, there we go. And oh my goodness, we might go winless through... Or, <laughs> uh, we may go undefeated through the month of December. Can we do it? Yep, we do it. We did not lose a single game that month. What kind of winning streak are we on right now? All right, there's three, five, eight, twelve, 12, um, and then 14 for the month of December. But going back, uh, what did I say? 14, uh, 15, and then 16. But if you want to count with a point, 
you can count these two there. I just this team was fantastic. 33, 4, and 1. Um, I wonder if we have uh one of the best records ever after what 38 games? Uh, let's hold a team meeting real quick. Uh we've been playing our way during the streak, boys. Just keep doing it. Um I wonder if we're on pace to have the best record ever. I, sh I really need to look that up. Uh, if you guys want to help me out and leave it in the comments, who had the best record ever in the NHL? Uh, just let me know because I want to see what we're on pace for. John Tavares, 23 goals, 26 assists. He looks like he's on pace for 50. Uh, fantastic player. He had 60 last season. Obviously, there's no way he was going to match that. No, he had 51. Who the hell am I thinking of? Oh, God. It might be something else I'm thinking of. Somebody had 60 goals. Uh, but yeah, John Tavares, 51 goals last season. Uh, he, he's an absolute monster of a player. He's looking on pace to tie that. Uh, Oliver Ekman Larson, he could be a 20-goal scorer on defense for us, which is really good. Uh, Max Domi's looking like he's going to be a 20-goal scorer. Uh, Dylan Strom with 35 and 38. Fantastic player. Derek Pouliot, uh, he's stepping it up. 34 points. And uh, 12 game or 12, 12 goal score, uh, fantastic. Uh, Nick Merkley is doing pretty well on that second line. I uh, couldn't ask for more from him. Uh, Jake Bean's also doing good on that second line defense. Jesus, this team is just so good. Tobias Schreider's looking like he can have another 20 goal season on that third line. Travis Galliardi and Lawson Cruz are starting to Kraus, whatever his name is, Lawson. He's starting to step it up. Uh, they both are. They're playing really well. Uh, everybody on this team has got a really good plus minus, and that's something that I love to see. Uh, Christian Fisher, 20 goal season, baby. Wow, this, this team is just fantastic. Sorella might have a 20 goal season as well. We got depth scoring, we have stars, we have guys that can just shut it down on defense, and we have uh, an all star goalie uh, on our team. I, I think we just have a fantastic team. Obviously, uh, they're playing like that. Crown Power's not getting the time that he deserves. Uh, so maybe we can uh, trade him at the draft next year or something like that. Uh, so yeah, let me know what I should do with him if I should keep him uh, or what. I don't know what I should do with him. Uh, Opie, though, he's he's just so good. He's 34-1 uh, and one with a 1.8 goals against and a point. Uh, 936 save percentage. Uh, if he doesn't win every single goaltending an award, uh, I don't know what's going on there. Uh, let's just go ahead and simulate to the All Star game, and uh, yeah, we can take a look at, uh, at all the stats then, and hopefully we can keep this winning streak going. Uh, yeah, we. Oh, just as I'm saying that, we lose three to nothing to Boston. It was bound to happen sometime, boys. Uh, we come, we come back the next game. Shout out Boston. Oh my God! Sorry about that, boys. Um, yeah, I, I, <laughs> I am really at a loss for words. I don't think I've ever had a team, uh, that I didn't edit stats or anything like that play this well, because uh, I've done this before. You go in, edit stats, make everybody as best as possible, or whatever. Uh, that I think that's the only time I've done better than this. I mean, hell, we're almost at 40 wins before the. Uh, all-star game 39 6 and 1 at the all-star break it's just insane uh, i would love to see uh if anybody has a team better than this and if you do uh, i want proof because if somebody told me they were this good i honestly wouldn't believe them uh oliver ekman larson and dylan strom along with john tavares are all point per game players max domi is uh right there he's almost point per game player so is Derek pouliot just six points away from it Jake Bean's also got 35 on that second defensive line. Insane. Uh, Nick Merkley's having a great year playing on that second line. Couldn't ask for more. Tobias Ryder, uh, same thing. He's doing great. Kraus and, Kraus and uh, Galliardi are playing really good. Uh, so is Nolan Patrick. Henrik Samuelson's playing good. Everybody on this team's playing good. I, I should just say that a lot easier. Uh, so, yeah, I, I couldn't ask for more from these guys. They're playing fantastic, and, and that's the reason why we're a good team. Uh, let's take a look at uh, how our guys compare to the other players in the league. 
Um, in, uh, in years before, we haven't had uh, some of the best point getters. Like even you see here, uh, Steven Samkos is first in points. Uh, we've still been able to be a really good team without being uh, having any s real superstars on the team. Obviously, we have John Tavares, uh, and he's getting massive amounts of points per season, but that's only been the past couple years. Before that, uh, we were winning without a superstar on the team. So I, I think it's really amazing how you can win without having uh, like two of the best players in the league. Uh, so yeah, that, that's pretty nice. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and see how uh, Opie compares to the rest of the goalies in the league. Um, just sorting by uh, wins, first off. Uh, obviously, he blows out every other goalie. Actually, wow, Malcolm Subban is really helping out St. Louis. Uh, he, he's a good goalie. We had him. Uh, you guys know how good he is, but Opie, man, he, he's I think he's in a whole class of his own right now. <coughs> He's got a much better goals against the average than uh, Malcolm Subban. And wow, they actually have the same save percentage. So uh, that, that's interesting. Malcolm Subban actually with more shutouts too. So he's he's doing great in St. Louis. Uh, but I'm so much more happy that we have OP on our team. Uh, so yeah, that, that's how everything looks. Let's take a look at our team stats. And we can see why we are the best team in the NHL. Uh, we still got a game in hand, and we are up in our division. The Western Conference, uh, we're ahead by four points with two games in hand on St. Louis. And uh, in the entire league, uh, yeah, again, uh, we're, we're in a class of our own right now. Goals four per game, over four, uh, four goals per game. That is insane. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> I'm sorry, I accidentally hit uh, my microphone. Uh, we got four goals per game. That's insane. We're <laughs> in a league of our own. I keep saying that. It's really true. Goals against per game. Uh, we're just the best. St. Louis is a really good team. And I'll be scared when we have to play them. But we got, we got a really good team too. Uh, and I know we will play St. Louis eventually. I just really hope that we don't have to. But... When we do, it's it's going to be a really good series. Uh, and yeah, power play percentage too. Uh, it's the best in the league. I wouldn't be surprised if our penalty kill is the best in the league either. Okay, no, it's not. It's not. But I mean, we're ninth. Ninth in the league and penalty kill percentage. And uh, actually, taking a look at Tampa Bay. They used to... Uh, I, I would be scared playing them. I'm scared to play St. Play Louis now. They are definitely the second best team in the league. It's like the Spurs and the Warriors right now. Uh, Tampa Bay, I'm still afraid to play them if we do meet them in the Stanley Cup Finals, but uh, I'm more worried about St. Louis now. Uh, so yeah, that is how everything looks. Uh, really not going to change anything about this team. Uh, I don't want to. We are fantastic. We are 39-6-1. Uh, so yeah, that'll be all for now then. So until next time, I'll see ya.